So I wanted to tell everybody, our audience here, if you don't mind my saying, is that you're actually not our patient. Your wife is our patient. And you, you take such good care of her, number one. And number two, I found out you guys have been married for 70 years. Mm. Do a little on your nose here. So you were told by somebody that you had what condition on your nose? Did they tell rosacea. you something? Rosacea. Yeah. yeah, this is rosacea, but this particular type of rosacea here is called rhinophyma, where you get thickening of the skin on your nose, like very dilated follicles. See how that just kind of all this stuff is just right under the surface, ready to come out. Mm. You should have seen it all squeeze right out of that one little hole there. So she's got a lot of dilated follicles and excess oil production on his nose, which creates these big bumps. So your nose is actually probably half the size of what it is here, or it used to be certainly, right? Uh, you think you're gonna, smaller at least. So you're, I think you're gonna make a smaller nose. We're gonna of... give you a dainty nose. Yeah, a little pinch here. You're, on, you're probably on some blood thinners or anything. Nothing like that? Uh, no, maybe? only uh, Just aspirin? Aspirin. Okay. So you are 90 too? 90, yes. 90 also. 90, oh, 90 wow. yeah. Wow, amazing. And you guys, you guys have been together for 70 years. Yep. And you guys have, must have some kids too. Three. Oh, do you get to see a lot of them? Well, look how much better that's to see right uh, our youngest daughter who lives nearby. Oh, that's good. So she's kind of always around and making sure you guys are okay. If you need anything though, you're pretty, I think you guys are pretty, um, you guys are pretty good on your own though too. You guys seem to take, you, you actually, I see you, you take really good care of your wife. You've been bringing her into all our visits. Your yeah. wife had that, had Mohs surgery on her forehead, so we had to do some fancy things to close it up because it was pretty big. I thought this looks better already. Look at how much nicer that looks. Oh, you're going to like this. Now you're going to come back just to see me. Oh, uh, I'd gladly do that if I was younger, but you're married. <laughs> so are you <laughs> yeah. for longer than I've right. been. <laughs> you're such a little trickster. See, he, cause he's allowed to say all these things because his wife's in the room here with him, you see. I put a little numbing in some of these bigger areas and I knew we were going to have to squeeze because I knew I was going to have to push hard to try to get some of this out. But you can see being on the blood thinner makes him want to lose a little bit from some of these areas. And some of them are kind of stubborn. Like this one right here I thought was going to be a much bigger one but it doesn't want to come out of that hole. Ooze a little bit more. You're okay, huh? Still oh, yeah. okay? Okay, yeah, yeah. good. Because we're still enjoying ourselves if you're okay. Yeah. That was a good one there. It's like string cheese. Yeah, like silly string. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, and string cheese. Like you'd think some kind of string. You're starting to like them too, huh? Just like your <laughs> sister. Looks so much better already. That side of his nose. I mean, once we got rid of those few little bumps there. I've been pestering him. He's come in like three times with his wife, and I've stopped him and said, Are you sure you don't want me to get rid of your ones bumps on your nose? Finally, I got him. I knew I had to wheel you in. Because he wanted to make sure his wife, his wife is okay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, taken care of her. Right. Just a couple little more here on this side. A little pinch here because you have a couple black cuts here. And he's so tough. See, I don't even have to numb those and he's okay. Pretty much done with this side. That's a good one that came out. This one too. Come on. I have to. I have to convince them to come out too. I have to talk to them. 
if I talk to my blackheads. This side looks really good. I mean, these were waiting to come out, sir. I mean, seriously, I just had to like put a little nick in the skin and they just kind of popped right out. Hmm. Yeah, they were waiting. They'll probably give you another know, good squeeze and a good number of them come out. Yeah. A little squeeze every now and then, huh? All right, we're good on that side. We're just gonna have a few on the other side and we're done. Are you okay with that? Okay. Okay, let's do it. What? You guys are pretty much on your own, huh? You, you take care of your wife pretty much on your own. Oh, well, yeah. I see that. I mean, I see that you're fully functioning on your own. You're taking care of her and you've got keeping all your appointments and does she have a lot of other appointments? Does she see a lot of other doctors regularly? Well, we were trying to diagnose problems and that sort of thing. And we've been only in California for oh, really? uh, a year and a half. Where'd you move from? Well, we were originally from Connecticut. Oh, are you? Where in Connecticut? Uh, north of Hartford. Okay, okay. And then My we husband's moved to Florida. Florida. So, oh, wow. That's a nice that, place to move to. Yeah, we were there for 25 years. Okay. Are you? Would you consider yourself in Florida then? Would you say well, if you were some, from no. somewhere? That's your home? Is that like your no, main home or no? Now, California? Yeah. No, but I'd say Connecticut was our mm -hmm. home. My husband's from Armonk. Armonk? Which is, yeah. New which York? is a, Yep. Mm -hmm. Right across the sound. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to Connecticut. We're going to... Um, we're going in a couple weeks to Connecticut, actually. We're going to New Hampshire and Connecticut. Oh, yeah. And I've, I've been to Connecticut before. You know, they're, all those states are so next to each other that you blink and you're in the next state, I feel like. Yeah. Compared but we're gonna to be California. Out there. Yeah, we're yeah. going to be out there and we're going to go visit some relatives. And and um, I'm going to show my, my kids where we... Went to school. We met my husband and I met a medical school in Philadelphia. Uh -huh. So we're gonna show them where we met. Gosh, you're getting a good treatment here. This is really doing really well. We got just a couple here on their lower nose, and then I'm gonna leave you alone. Okay, I promise. You are okay? Right. There. Okay, just a couple little more. Keep your eyes closed. I don't want anything to fall in your eye. Just a little pinch in the tip of your nose here. Pinch here. This is a big one right there. You okay at that angle? Yeah, you're yeah. good. Yeah, okay. no, I'm just kind of, now that you're moving, yeah. no, now that you're moving to the tip there, I'm going to try to adjust. I just want to stuff it from oozing there, so that, because they don't like, people don't like it when it oozes. Okay, I'm going to push this one here. Yeah, I got to think all of a sudden, look at that one. Dropping your whiteheads all over you. <laughs> They're flying all over the place. Doesn't surprise me. You are what we call a gold mine. Yeah. You are. Because you got some good ones in here. But just a little nick will we'll actually express them, and your nose is going to be so much less bumpy after that. And these all heal. And I'm going to see you in two weeks, and we'll take a pa after picture of how good it looks afterwards. See the length, the length of some of these. You probably do if you can, if you look at them after you squeeze them. Look at how much smaller his nose is already. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? It really is amazing. Okay, let me see. Let's just check, double, double, double check around. I didn't do it much on the top here. I thought they'd do suction on these. Um. You know, I have seen somebody doing something like that, but I would think you have to suck pretty hard to get, you have to make a nick in the surface of the skin. There's no way you could just suck these out without making a nick to ex be able to express them. So I, I can't see how that would work. I mean, otherwise people would just be hooking their nose up to some suction and <laughs> I would think sucking these things out. I've never seen that being, you know, sold for, 
any amount or making any anyone selling that at any salon or anything like a nose suction or something almost there just a little tiny for me to get here okay sorry okay almost done Let's see it as dark there we go and look there's a white head back here as well too because yeah i can't ever get enough one on top of your head here I won't feel too much. So, you know, these are like from your rosacea and from just sun, getting a lot of sun exposure in your time. 